In this video, we'll look at how we create a new target datum. We cover how to generate a physical data model to the target DBMS from a logical model, and then deploy the design by forward engineering or generating the DDL for the developers and DBS. What you currently see is ER Studio's graphical user interface. I have received uh, a data model consisting of one logical model and an old um, physical model. When you compare these two models, you will see that it has 10 tables and the other one has 15 tables. This one has um, 71 columns and the new logical model has 85 attributes. It means changes have been made from this physical model and we have received the merged and targeted um, logical model. So we would like now to generate a new target database. In order to do that, you just right click on a model and say generate a physical model. Here now we will give it a name. For example, we call it a new CRM. Um, let's say it is a Microsoft SQL Server. Um, here you can select what kind of database platform you would like to have as a target database platform. Here you see um, from Amazon Redshift up to Teradata are supported. But in my case, let me pick up Microsoft SQL Server. So you can choose the type of physical model you would like to have, relational dimensional model. You can validate the model, validate um, also after generating the physical model. You can look into it. Some indexes and some domains are defined in a proper way. Next page, uh, we will show you the tables available. These are the tables we are going to generate. So there are different options of generating that. For example, you would like to generate physical indexes in another way and so on. Uh, we will show you the number of views, users, and roles available, which can be selected here or deselected. Next page. We can specify a naming standard template to apply when you convert from logical to a physical model. For example, you can use NS NST files, uh, which we provide with our product, let's say kind of uh, regression list, for example, in order to convert uh, from logical to physical. You can basically use here uh, global prefixes, global suffixes, uh, for your views, and you can also define some general options of generating preserved spaces, remove spaces, how do you handle uh, cache shifts, how do you want to add invalid secret characters and same names and so on. Next page, you can specify also uh, the default storage parameters for your tables and indexes like file groups and uh, text image file groups and so on. Next page, um, you can basically define some general options. For example, if you have a money-to-money -money relationship, either you can create an associative entity or you can also create tables without a relationship. And here, finally, you can select the data type mapping you wish to use on the physical model. So ES Studio comes up with standard mapping between logical and uh, physical. But if you like, you can also customize this data type mapping and create your own data mapping as well. And last one here is you can save these uh, settings and then you don't need to walk through all these five pages. You can just um, save it and then you can reuse it, for example, for other purposes. And finally, when I click Finish, I'm generating now a new SQL Server model um, with all um, necessary objects and uh, DDLs which are necessary in order to, to, to build up the database as well. So the next step would be once this is generated, you would like to generate maybe a DDL or to forward engineer for the developers. In order to do that, you just select just as this SQL Server, for example, in this case, and you say generate database. So you can generate a single or ordered script file, just that means one file for all your objects, or you can also generate objects to multiple files, that means for each object one file. So this is the creation script file. Um, you can also generate objects with database connection. So if you have the credentials and you would like to modify the object uh, online, you can just connect and then do that. 
the next page, um, you can, for especially for SQL Server, you are also able to create a database. That means you create a create database statement as well. So the tool creates for you that necessary DLL for that as well. Uh, next page, you can specify um, or select or deselect the tables, indexes, users, schemas, models, everything what you don't like, you don't want to be generated. For example, if you have a test and I don't want to generate this test, I can de deselect. This applies for indexes, for users, available users, roles, schemas, and so on. Then also some general options that can be set up how you generate the DDL. So your SQL statement delimiter can be specified as a go, or you can use a semicolon, whatever you like for, for generation. So in most cases, I try to do a SQL preview to look at how many lines of code am I generating. So the code we are generating is very solid. Um, it takes care of the steps of creating um, a database object. For example, you create the type first, and then after that you create the tables and so on. So we take care of all the necessary orders in order to create a complete database. So once you have analyzed this, so you can save it to file or print it. What next job is to go next? Um, it just shows you a summary of the object which has been um, created. So on page four and four out of four, you can also uh, save that for uh, later use as a, as a quick launch setting as well. Finally, if I click finish, I will generate my SQL script. So the database script has been created and you can use your own uh, uh, tools, maybe just, uh, just to connect to the database and create the DDL as well. So you can basically send this DDL to your developers and use it. Just to recap, we were able to show you how easy it is to generate a target DBMS, in this case, MS SQL Server, without any knowledge about any DBMS system. We generated first as a DDL in one file, or multiple file, which can be shared with the development team to build the development databases. You can also maintain multiple physical models for development QA in production. For more information, please visit us at ibera.com and contact cells.